Hey guys, so it's been a really long time since I've made a video. I'm sorry for that. I've been so caught up in nursing school and I'm almost done. I have about two to three weeks left and I've just been swamped with homework and everything like that. So I haven't been able to make a video. I know some people have requested um, a thyroid video or update and I'll get around to it, but right now I'm just kind of stuck. Um, I feel like I'm getting kind of sick too, so I'm sorry. Um, I had a little bit of time this morning before class started, which has been pretty unusual for me lately because I've been getting to school right on time and I've been having long days like 8.30 to 5.30. 8.30 I guess is not like too bad. It's not too early. It could be worse. But I'm just so exhausted that right now for me that it feels like I'm waking up at 5 a.m. every day. I'm really probably waking up at like 5.30, 6 o'clock every day because I have to get my kids ready for, or not for school, but like I have to get ready for school and I have to get them ready for um, going to like the babysitters and stuff like that. So, but anyways, yeah, I just wanted to update you guys really quick. I'm two weeks out from finishing. I am just... Right now I'm basically doing all of my exiting HESIs. I am, I still have finals to take, I have HESIs to take, and um, we're getting together with like career services today. We're getting our resumes together. They do a mock interview. They do all these kinds of things to like prepare us. Um, I guess for like what's coming next, like they get us ready for jobs and things like that. And we have a career services department that helps us actually get jobs and they make sure that all of their students go out and find a job. Um, they do that for all of their graduates. So, I mean, that's nice. I've already kind of been, um, there was one pediatric home health that I got really interested in and it was a, a pediatric clinical rotation and I didn't get to go out to a home or anything. I was in the office with the ladies um you know my my group from my class because we're divided into two groups right now because we're kind of a larger group so right now my group um we go to all of our clinical sites together so we went to this home health pediatrics place and it was just in the office and they told us about it and about just how they do things and how they train their staff which this kind of stuck out to me because like my husband is a home health nurse. They gave him like three days training and sent him on his way. And I've been kind of told like that's just how it is in home health. They give you a, a few days of training and then you're off on your own. Now as a new nurse, I don't trust that system. Um, I want, if I, <clears throat> sorry, if I were to do home health, which I'm considering because I really like it. Um, or I think that I would like it, but if this is like what I end up going into, I want to have somebody to extensively train me and they do this three week extern. Is it extern? I think that's what they call it an externship or internship. Maybe it's internship. I'm so tired guys. So it's like three weeks. So the first three weeks I would just go out with another nurse and she would train me. And I liked this idea because I was like, oh, wow, that's a lot of training. And as a new nurse, I mean, that's like gold to me. I need a good preceptor anywhere that I go. And yeah, so I just really liked it. I liked what they had to say. I liked that it's a company. Basically, it was started by nurses. It's ran by nurses. Everybody in the office that works there is a nurse so they all understand what it's like like <clears throat> scheduling they're all nursing like um, I think that sometimes people who are schedulers that aren't nurses they don't understand um, kind of the situations that a nurse could be put in for example last night my husband was technically on call didn't know he was on call we were out at a restaurant he had to leave um, he had to leave and go take care of a patient and it was just like I don't know um, a lot of miscommunication in scheduling I guess I don't know but anyways that's besides the point 
I am considering doing this home health pediatrics. Now before this, I was considering just going to a nursing home. And I've had a lot of my instructors say, you know, hey, have you thought about going to the hospital? And as a CNA, I used to work in a rehab hospital. So I really liked it. I worked 12 hour shifts. It was great. However, <clears throat> my life is a little different now. Now that I have kids, things just are different. I don't wanna be gone for a full 12 hours out of the day. That's just not something that I'm comfortable with right now. I have a two and a three year old, and then I have a stepdaughter who's six. So it's just, and then like picking up from school and you know, my three year old is gonna start school next year. And so I just need to have something that is flexible for my kids. And that's what I want. And I have the rest of my life to go back to RN school, go work in a hospital or do whatever I want to do because one day they're going to grow up and they're going to have their own lives. And I'm, I know that <laughs> and I can go do those things when that time comes. But for right now, like that's, what's important to me is to be there for my kids. So with pediatric home health in general is kind of like it's done on a different schedule than your standard six to two or you seven to seven or you know th those are the hours that you get in a nursing home and those are the hours that you get in a hospital so for me if I did home health in general you can travel from patient to patient to patient to patient you can kind of like take breaks in between go do what you need to do if you have a kid who um, has a Christmas you know choir thing that they're going on at school like in the middle of the day because they do that and I don't know why the school <laughs> I don't know why they do it the way that they do it but um, my stepdaughter has had quite a few things that are going on in the middle of the day and it's hard to get out there however if you do home health you can go do that if you need to squeeze in um, a doctor's appointment, a dentist appointment or whatever, and you're doing home health, you can squeeze it in in your day. But it's just home health is scary because it's just you out there. You don't have anybody to back you up or to bounce things off of. Like it's just you. So you need to know what to do. And that terrifies me as a new nurse because I'm not experienced like that. Like I've, I've been a CNA and that's it. I don't have experience with medicines and I don't have experience with those types of things. So home health pediatrics though, you, you do drive to one patient's house and you stay there and every kid is, um, they qualify for different hours. So Medicaid will approve them of 180 hours a week or maybe only 50 hours a week or whatever. And so, and that could be like Monday, Wednesday, Friday and I drive out to these people's houses. So I would drive out there for whatever hours that the parents have in place. And then they also have a meet and greet. So they could say, look, we have this new patient. It's a, you know, a three-year-old male and let's go out and see, visit, you know, the patient and the family. And you can see the area that it's in. You can see the house, you can see, you know, the clients and you can say, kind of determine if this family is right for you or not because and I'm pretty flexible with everybody like I'll do whatever for my patients um, and I like to respect like if there are people who don't like to talk that's fine I won't like sit there and like ask you a bunch of questions I mean like I'll do my job but there's some people there's some patients who expect certain things out of their nurses and their CNAs some people are straight to the point, get, tell me what I need, and then that's it, bye, get out of my face, I'll see you later. Other people love to just sit and talk and reminisce about their lives and things like that. And tell me all about their kids and, and all of this stuff, you know what I mean? So I'm pretty accommodating to whatever people want or need or, you know. So those are my, um, that's kind of like what I've been I guess up to lately so I, I think I'm gonna go into home health pediatrics as of right now we'll see what happens um, I've been doing really good on my HESIs I took one comprehensive for whatever reason we have to take two HESIs so we have to take one comprehensive HESI and then a second comprehensive HESI even if we pass the first one I passed the first one um, with a 90% which is really really good I got the highest in my class which was kind of surprising to me because I thought 
there was a couple other people in my class that I'm like, and they're really smart, like they'll probably do like the best. And I was really surprised whenever I got the highest. So um, yeah, I took one comprehensive HESI already. I have to take another one on the very last day of school. And what is today? Today is Tuesday. Today is my capstone day. Tomorrow is Wednesday. I will have med surge clinicals that will be done on campus and it that is our last day of med surge clinical and then Thursday I have a capstone project which I can tell you guys about in another video um, but it's like a big huge deal it involves like the whole school it's like a mass casualty Friday I have my pediatrics final and pediatrics HESI and then I also have a med surge final and a med surge HESI. And then starting next week, I won't go every single day. This is my last full week um, because after clinicals are over, if I don't have makeup hours, then I don't go in for the day. So they always leave like two weeks or so at the end of the quarters for people to get those makeup hours in. And if you don't have any makeup hours, you don't have to go to class. So this is my last full week of school. So I'm really excited. Um, it's just kind of like what's been getting me through the week because to be honest with you, I I am exhausted and I'm tired and I gotta go. So um, yeah, that's just what's been going on with me and I will see you guys later.